Hi, I'm Christine from House of Smocking, and in this video we're going to do the hem. And we're going to do it with a tuck in it. So the dark blue dress shows the hem with a tuck, and that's what we're going to do today. So here I've got my dress on the ironing board with the right side down. And what I want to do is I want to turn the hem up and I want to turn it up 15 centimetres. And then I'm going to pin it in place. I just want pins along the edge, the bottom edge of it at the moment. So, and I just go all the way round, measuring the 15 centimetres. So now I've pinned all the way round, turning it up 15 centimetres. And the next thing I want to do is I want to turn it up another 15 centimetres. So I fold it over, like so. And I measure my 15 centimetres again. And then I can repin that. And then I'll go all the way round again, pinning it. So now I have pinned up a second time. So I fold it over once, pinned it and then folded it over again. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a, a seam all the way along the bottom edge, but two and a half centimetres in. You can make that tuck as big or as small as you want, but I'm going to go for a two and a half centimetre seam along there. So I'm just going to run my machine across there. So here you can see I'm doing the seam for the hem and I'm using a stitch length two and a half for this. Okay. So now I've got my seam run all the way along the hem and then I can press it all the way round on the edge. And then just keep pressing all the way around. So once you've pressed just the edge, you can then turn your dress into the, so the right side is out and put it back on your ironing board. And then we're going to press the tuck down and we're going to press the hem at the same time. So make sure it's nice and smooth before you press it. And then we keep going all the way around. Make sure that it's all nice and smooth before we put the final pressing. And we keep going round till we've finished and pressed the whole whole hem. So here we have our finished hem. So it's pressed down. So we have a nice neat double thickness hem with the tuck in it, which we can let down later on as the child grows. The measurements I gave you of 15 centimetres and two and a half centimetres uh, were purely uh, measurements that I've used because I knew what the finished length of the dress was that I wanted. And that was the amount of fabric that I needed to turn up to get the finished length. So here we have our little dress, which um, I will put on a mannequin and show you the how I've finished other areas. So we've done our three buttonholes and added our buttons to the back. Here you can see that I've bound the arm armholes. So I trimmed them down and then just used a bias strip to bind them and hand uh, slip stitch in place. And here we have the finished dress on the mannequin. And here's the back view. 
Thank you for watching these videos.